Yeah, this is bull. What the fuck is that? It's just nothing. Sorry. Hey guys, cool boy, we're back. I'm Rick. Eric. Aaron. I'm Calvin. We're here to watch. Hi, Lander. Guess who's seen, seen it and who hasn't? <laughs> <laughs> the 1986. Is this how Raiden gets his powers? Ah, uh, kinda. <laughs> Canonically, in my head, yes. Mm. But yeah, I did not see this movie growing up. Uh, Maggie introduced it to me. Mm. And uh, I liked it. Quite oh, a bit. so you don't have nostalgia for this? I don't this have, isn't no. one of your one. It's not like Surf Ninjas or nothing. No, that? it's so good. Not. It won him over this much in just the last few years of his life. I'm always like, especially in a later Rick life span, <laughs> like his like and dislike I for know. movies. I can never trust, and I don't know what to. think. I don't know if I'm not ready to watch one of the best things ever. Or the worst. But what or about Calvin? Something case? so mediocre that Rick loves it. Well, Calvin, though, you watched when you were younger. Yes. So he has nostalgia. So like uh, like Surf Ninjas, which okay. I'm which I can say like I know Surf Ninjas isn't a great movie, but I have so much fun and it's just a ridiculous movie. Yeah. Like it could be like that and Count's like this is so fun mm. and I love it from my childhood, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. But it could be really good. Or I it could see. be really good. No, I'm very curious to see what you think. Because cause the last time we built you up for a movie, it wasn't your favorite no, experience. It wasn't as high as I <laughs> thought the high was gonna be. So, Tombstone. Which I mean I'm not saying that it gets a bad movie. It's just like I felt like I was like Ready for it to be here, and yeah. then it, it hit me here, and I was like, that was okay. But my dad used to watch, like, the TV show, I know. Um, so, like, there's a couple of things of, like, the world that I think I'm familiar with. Okay. I've never seen the movies. Hmm. Very cool. Got to put that all out of your head. Yes. Because oh. it's, it's best. There can be only one. Only one reactor at this table? What? You got to fight for it. There's a bunch of something along! From the dawn of time. From okay. the dawn of time. We can oh, read it. Moving silently down through the centuries. No one has ever known we were among you. <clears throat> Until now. We came moving silently. Are they like aliens? Oh. Oh. oh, that's a hell of a way to start. <laughs> <laughs> it's Queen. I shouldn't be looking. Yeah, I won't look. <laughs> like that. I didn't know he was in this. That's all fancy. And I, that's all I need. I knew two names, but I didn't know his name. One of the best voices I've ever seen. Man. Are we in a wrestling match? Yeah. Frank, no wonder you fucking like this movie. I do. I thought it was Ric Flair for a second. <laughs> that's not that's Ric Flair. I thought it was for a second. <laughs> that's, um... Are these real wrestlers? Yes. Look at that flag. <laughs> Why am I blanking on his name? I don't know, that uh, guy. One is the Tonga kid. He, he was a backstage guy. Uh, <laughs> Look at this hair. I love pro wrestling. How are, is this on a crane? What is this? It's a drone, Eric. 1986. Did they bring a helicopter <laughs> what is You know it? what, yeah, it is interesting how it they do it. It must be on a line. It, it has on, to be. It, yeah, it's on a line that they're like swinging around, I think. Oh my oh, god, this but camera. This is crazy. No way to start your I bet they did a cut with those flashes, right? Yeah, 100% right there. That guy's not excited at all. Why the hell are you here? You gotta love it! Gotta love it. <laughs> I feel like he shouldn't be here. Whoa, what a cut. <laughs> we, what's happening? <laughs> I thought we were Vikings. Braveheart time? <laughs> when, when is this? Man, that was sold. <laughs> Look at that, that fall, man. The guy next to him is real into this. Feels like the fight of, or the start of almost every fan film likes ever fight. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think they all got it? <laughs> I love movies in the 80s that get so adventurous with their camera, but it's not quite stable yet. Like, yeah. they're moving a lot, but it still shakes a bit, you know? McLeod. Damn. How do you not see it? Fox McLeod. Wait. Ah! How the hell did he have that sword? Oh my God, he just pulled out a He just fit in there? <laughs> Sparks, hell yes. Jeez. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that's creative. Ah, uh, daredevil technique, huh? This is funny. Jeez. You, know, you can't do that on cars nowadays. Uh, I wanted to add permission to run on these cars. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow. What? <laughs> what? I can get the way. To flip out yeah, of but the, the other guy was running away to get his sword. Why do you have to back flip away? Aaron, it's cool. It's his taunt to build up his special Shut meter. Up. He's going again? Yeah. Wasn't he running normally a second ago? It's This is like when you play Ocarina of Time and you roll faster. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. He's back flipping again. That's <laughs> <laughs> the best sword play they've had. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, that's a sharp sword. Holy crap. Did his head come back? I love cartoon animated lightning so much. Did his soul just go into a car? <laughs> or maybe it's an energy thing? Damn, it's maximum overdrive. Oh my god. Some power. So this is like Jetman's the one. <laughs> I wonder if they had permission. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's film this and get the hell out of here. <laughs> this is what I was thinking of when you said come. when they were just running. They were just running the on the cars? Like are they did they get permission to do this? <laughs> That's great. Was someone walking? I heard footsteps. Oh, what a great shot! Right? I love them going through the rain. Like Is that like a tumbleweed? Stash the sword? Yep, stash the sword. Why do you stash his sword? Uh, the murder weapon, Aaron. I'm gonna be caught with it. Dude, the body floated away. Oh, oh that, that was a huge transition. Uh, I like that. Mm -hmm. That guy's in every. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Every movie like this I've ever seen. <laughs> the guy yeah. in the middle. Who is he? He's uh, Mormont from Game of Thrones, isn't he? Was he? Jor Mormont. And he's in Brave War. He's, Brave he's in everything. Hello. Well, hello, who are you? Connor, wait. Connor, you fight with God on your side, Connor. Oh. Angus, you and Duga keep him in one piece to hear. I will know what piece that is. <laughs> Angus and Dougal. Whoa, what Whoa. the hell is that? That's Clancy Brown! Your boy! Did you what see him? He looks so young. I didn't like, I was looking at the armor, I didn't realize the face or anything. What's the youngest I've seen him? Remember it's gotta be this. Dude, he could just play Savage and Press right here. I need a Skeletor. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely looks like the, the boss. You're supposed to fight. He's looking. He's just running around saying his name. Stack those guys, they're killing your men. Stay by me. Stay by me. Stab his horse. Damn, Ooh, look at that sword. He did not do what I thought he would. Ahead. Another time. What happened? What happened to the resolution? I don't what know. camera are we using? We must have swapped Did we suddenly can go watch a VHS? What happened? <laughs> I demand answers. <laughs> oh. oh. It's in an eyeball. Okay. Well, you know what? Effects were limited. <laughs> Dude, he's in a speed racer car. I know. I love that car. It's Great a. Uh... It's so funny. That was a cut, cut yeah. Car. Why'd you turn towards that car? I gotta say, I am so disoriented. <laughs> so was I. <laughs> yep. Shouldn't be an antiquer. Not a fucking hell. You talk funny, Nash. Where are you from? 
lots of different places. It's one of my favorite lines. Yeah. Okay. You went down to the garage for a blowjob. Just didn't want to pay for it. Huh. You are sick. What I do with a sword? Hey, 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 that guy telegraphed his punch more than I've <laughs> ever seen anyone do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's so cool. <laughs> That's different. Okay, Mr. Dude, look Victor at his neck. Kruger. Yeah, someone trying to cut off his Kruger. Dude, is he gonna like instead of put together a sniper, put together a sword? Wow, he is, isn't he? That's so cool. <laughs> Whoa, mastery. Why is that weird sword, man? It's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is she gonna find the cutting in the? Huh? Brenda, she's got a little April O'Neil on her. <laughs> Man, I love the '80s. I love the night scenes in the '80s. They don't give a shit. Just light it, light it up. <laughs> Where's the light coming from? Shut up. I'm just waiting for a Terminator <laughs> yeah. to come in. Quiet. Oh shit! <laughs> Where was he? Where did he come from? Render run! Why did you put let her walk by? Get hosed! I feel like he should pull out his sword. <laughs> Hopefully he's a better fighter this time. He didn't get stabbed on the first swing, so he's a little better. Oh! Oh, that sound. There's a helicopter! Hey, what are you gonna do? You <laughs> can't do that. And in that I moment, said, he realized he had no power. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey. Were they just driving around, flying around, and saw two guys sword fight? I don't know. She might have called him. Oh, shut up! <laughs> oh, <he's> a slapper. <laughs> what the hell? Hell of a cut. Ugh. So now they're all against him because he didn't die. He's all like, yeah, I lived. And they're all like, oh my god, he's back. He lived. Drinking with us, are you? What's the matter, Duke? You, talking and breathing. And last night's all but a corpse. How did you manage that, Connor McLeod? Would you rather I was dead? It's not natural. He's in league with Lucifer. Oh, you say that, kid. I'll say it. <coughs> You've the devil in you. We've been kinsmen 20 years. I'm not going anywhere. Damn. She was like, put the devil with me. She was <laughs> like, I don't want to be. She was dead. crying that he was dying. Now she's like, kill him. There'll be no bonding here today. We'll banish him. No! Jesus Christ. Reds. I knew you were going to say that. No, forget you, Angus. Forget the rest of you. <laughs> yeah, fuck them all, man. Yeah. Oh, he has to walk they away did, with I that? I thought he cut the rope. I don't want to go hiking like this. Oh. Why doesn't you come across my head? Could you help me out? It's like, why the hell is this guy walking like this? I'm, you didn't get into this situation alone, you know? Oh, I was carrying wood. <laughs> and then a rope fell on me. <laughs> What a transition. They go <coughs> nuts with these transitions. He's got a hookah pipe. Look at all these antiques. Like he's lived quite uh, a, I wanted to say a life, but I want to say many lives. It's not antiques, it's just stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Jesus! What the hell? Oh my god! 
Why the what the fuck hell? Did he just show up here? That's Sean Connery. You've met allergies to King Charles V of Spain. Wait, his name's Juan Sanchez? Ramirez. Who? Spain. Why'd you make this actual Scottish guy from Spain? What you want? You. He dressed like Captain Hook from Peacock. Look at this. What? The sensation you're feeling is a quickening. We are the same, McLeod. We are brothers. I am so confused. <laughs> <laughs> so was Rick. <laughs> uh, uh, perfect sword sharpening technique. We've seen perfect sword sharpening technique. <laughs> Brenda. Uh, she's a sword expert? Well, she knew she what knew a that Toledo Salamanca was and how much it was worth. Sword. I thought she just That's just part of her forensic duty. <laughs> <laughs> she's smart. I don't know. She's just an enthusiast. She's just Sherlock Holmes. The crazy transition, I know it. <laughs> it's so good. It's so it's good. It's so good. How do they do that? There's a mat line there, but Huh. Stomach stuck with meat and, barley. and what do you do with it? You eat it. How revolting. Be still, for God's sake. I cannot swim, you Spanish peacock. I'm not Spanish, I'm Egyptian. You said you were from Spain. You're a liar. Is he Egyptian? Now. Get out! No! <laughs> <laughs> so like, can he just not drown, or will he drown, and if you take him out, he'll be okay? All right, guess he just can't drown. I can't die. It's right? a good way to prove it. I can breathe. He can breathe. Not only does he not drown, he can just breathe. <laughs> He's doing it under there. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Is that sword? It's the devil's work. Fish and fire out of his kilt. You cannot die, McLeod. Except you. <laughs> Thank you. Good. That is a perfect way to start. <laughs> I hate you. What I do know is that because you were born different, men will fear you, try to drive you away, like the people of your village. So he was born this way? That's what they said. Until the time of the gathering. The gathering? Mm -hmm. When only a few of us have left. We will feel an irresistible pull towards a faraway land to fight for the prize. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Move! No! <laughs> Never overextend your thrust. You're vulnerable and off balance. Oh, no. Heather, please. <laughs> <laughs> you are safe only on holy ground. None of us will violate that law. It's tradition. Is holy ground like literally churches, or does holy ground mean something else? Now for the last. Trust me. Feel? What? Crazy fucking shot. It, it, yeah, because we saw where the. So 
<laughs> Look at him. <laughs> They're in a helicopter right now, right? Yes. And then they get that close to the mountain? Yep. Because we just saw where the mountain was. Yeah. Mountain. Very good. Oh, his sword says in the cloud on it. I never saw that. Mm -hmm. But what I want is a family. You cannot have a family. We cannot have children. Oh. That won't be heaven. I'll tell you that for nothing. If you could have children, you'd probably have like 500. I think this con was a. I was gonna say. Room. You're right. She is beautiful. You must leave her, brother. I was born 2,437 years ago. In that time, I've had three wives. That was Shakiko, a Japanese princess. Damn. When Shakiko died, I was shattered. I would save you that pain. Please, let Heather go. That black knight was a Kurgan. Kurgan. It's because of him that I sought you out. He is the strongest of all the immortals. Hmm. He is the perfect warrior. There can be only one. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't the question he asked. Yeah, but I've heard like two of the most iconic voices ever say it. So much better now. <laughs> uh oh. The quickening. Whoa. Maybe the Kurgan is here. Damn, he's here for you. Scar came from, but he didn't detach it all the way. Mm -hmm. Head didn't come away. <laughs> On that table was there to break your fall. Heather, get out of here! <laughs> I don't know why she hasn't left. Jeez. Jesus. He had to die at some point since his sword was with the cloud. I swear, if Heather's still there. She watched him die, and that guy stood still for 30 seconds, and she's still there. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> Hello, pretty. Where was he? So, also, are all of them just like stronger in general? Cause like, he knocked that building over with a hit, but then he just kind of like, cut a little bit of his chest. <laughs> I was like, damn. Advice. Advice about what? What can you tell me about a seven-foot lunatic hacking away with a broadsword at one o'clock in the morning, New York City, 1985? Not much. Everybody is looking at me. People are asking about you. What am I supposed to say? Tell them I'm immortal. Jesus. Oh, yeah, in World War II? This was not in the VHS version. <laughs> oh, was this? it not? No, it wasn't. Because oh, I have seen this. Huh. Don't be afraid. What's your name? Is that Rachel? Rachel. Oh. Everybody's dead. Jeez. So he took care of this little girl, and then she grew up and became like... Oh, shit! Damn it, Nazis!
you say, Jack? You're the master race. He's <laughs> 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 like, but I shot you! <laughs> I'm not wrong. Ask whatever is handy right here. Oh, no, you don't. Hmm. You refuse to let anyone love you. Look Dude, look at those! What kind of swords in the middle there? Middle Eastern. That's crazy like looking. So, Execution scimitar. Yeah, like the yeah. bottom one looks a little bit more like a sword that like, seems familiar, but the middle one sure. just looks too, too much, you know? Well, it's like this thick on the back too. Yeah. That's where I keep my sword. I have to assume he carries it everywhere, right? Like, you never know when yeah. you get jumped by a sword guy. <laughs> Use it all the time. Noise and music. Noise and music. <laughs> I like your place, Brenda. <laughs> Fingered is right on the trigger. I said interesting view. Is it great? Man, he found all that real quick. <laughs> What's that? It's for you. Can I open it? The, the book with her face on the back? <laughs> it is. <laughs> you're gonna turn off the tape or you're gonna shoot me with a 45? I am not looking for a killer. I am looking for a sword. The one used on Fazio. I found pieces of it under the garden. I only want to see the samurai. Why? I told you because it's not supposed to exist. I dated pieces of the blade at 600 BC. The metal had been folded 200 pounds. Yeah, yeah, transition. Crossfade. Wasn't as impressive, but I feel like I'd want to move since I know the guy knows this place. You know what I mean? Though I guess he thought that he killed the other guy, maybe. And yeah, but that's a good view. You know? I mean, I'm sure there's more good views. <laughs> that's other places, a good you know? view, though. Yeah, he has no idea Connor is here. New remains. In the years to come, would you like to count? Remember me on my birthday. I love. I will. I want to have you children. Good night, my buddy Heather. I think he's moving now. Yeah. I mean, I guess if that's his love, you probably don't want to live there. I mean, just cast of gear. Cast of gear. Lived in McLeod. can't age and it's good to see you again. It seems like a hundred years. It's been a hundred years. Another one of these guys? <laughs> <laughs> so they don't all want to kill each other, at least not right away. Ramirez, they called them brothers. This yeah, I guess. It's only during the gathering that they get that feeling. Oh no! I remember the last time we had a party. Really? What exactly was that? It was 1783. 1783. Oh yes, your famous year. duel on Boston Common. <laughs> Tell him I'm ready. <laughs> I'm gone blind. Oh, <laughs> Wonderful sir. <laughs> you gotta I kiss him every time. I love this. <laughs> That's it. I don't think it's working, man. Apologize for calling your wife Lord Warthog. <laughs> 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 I love how he can't <laughs> hold his laughter. Shoot him in the back of the head. Oh, you gonna shoot him? 
No more kisses! <laughs> Zigzag! Why'd he shoot him? Mm. He was oh, pretty annoying. Yes. Sorry, color of blood and work. It's like Terminator. Mm. You know? Like he's in like this kind of crappy motel. He's all leather leathered jacket, out. Yeah. And the cloud could be like just a superhero walking around, stopping crime, and being immortal. Yeah. Instead, he just. I don't know what he does. Collecting like antiques. I guess. Sex! Sex shop? <laughs> That's not what I was expecting in this <laughs> sex corner area that he's driving through. This is for real. What the hell what are, are you, you doing? expecting? Oh, he's fighting him. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who the hell are you talking to? Dude, I like his sword. Mm -hmm. Oh no, must ear. Shouldn't have him alone. Damn. Should've done that earlier. I like the shadow shots. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn! <laughs> oh my gosh. Nah, that one's not very strong. Oh. That's some like Ghostbuster stuff right there. So that guy was also a immortal? Bastier? Bastier. Oh, okay. I, I, I remember, Not I the Marine! Oh, my God, <laughs> the Marine one. Okay, I, I just got confused on whose body was being shown at that point. I don't know if they're like absorbing the power? It seemed like it. I can't believe that guy's still alive. Jeez! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. She's committed! Why didn't she get out earlier? <laughs> Everything just blew up and he screamed. <clears throat> They're not gonna believe that. Took the identity of a baby, yeah. There's a guy who's been creeping around since at least 1700, pretending to croak every once in a while, leaving all his goods to kids who've been corpses for years and assuming their identities. Uh huh. <laughs> Sacred ground, right? Where they're mm -hmm. safe, mm -hmm. supposedly. But it's just like an agreement. They said most of them honor it. I don't think it's like a Hard rule. He said tradition. Yeah. He said, yeah. I don't know how it works. It was like, like the one rule. There's ones from like all over the place. Like that one was from Russia. And... Mm hmm. Yeah. Happy birthday. Oh, it's her birthday. Do they honor every religion? Yeah. You honor me, yes. Like what's considered holy to different people, you know? You can't. It's forbidden. It's wrong. Ooh, bitch. <laughs> what a dick. I don't think he finds this place holy. So. <laughs> only you and I remain. There's only two of them left now? Damn, they should have paired together then to fight him then. Whoa. Jesus. <laughs> I am in disguise. You know me. What do you do to his neck? I do. Oh my god. You want? You just safety pinned head. it together or something? <laughs> you was right about you, you a slime. Ramirez was an effete snob. He died on his knees. I took his head and raped his woman before his blood was even cold. Ramirez. 
Ramirez lied. She was not his woman. She was your woman. And she never told you. Perhaps I gave her something you never could. Remember what Ramirez taught you. Hmm. be weaker than I. I'll be out front. I wonder if that makeup was ever meant to be seen by one 480p. Can you not? <laughs> People are trying to pray. I have something to say. It's better to burn out than to fade away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <theatrical spin. laughs> Mr. Nash is dead, Miss Ellen Stein. Nope. You follow the guy who you know is lying about not who he is and everything? I've been alive for four and a half centuries. And I cannot die. Well, everybody's got their problems. Take it. I'll prove it. And that's the only way you can do it, right? I can't die. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in 1518 in the village of Glenfinnan on the shores of Loch Shion. Now I am immortal. <laughs> Start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's where the drowning one confused me. <clears throat> So like every other one, it seems like they take the damage and then they just kind of like, they get better. I don't understand why that turned into a kissing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. Well, he's not like lying or... Yeah. Transition in a movie with amazing transitions. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> like I didn't feel like they necessarily had a romantic interest in each other before, though she did look at oh, herself. Oh, she's been into him the whole time. I, I don't think. know. I don't. She penetrated him. You just Are like, you saying it's only fair? <laughs> did he have an ass double? That was her. No, for the wide shots. <laughs> oh, like that's for sure him. Does he have an ass double? <laughs> <That was her>. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. And they went to go visualize. Sex. You know oh, there he is. There he is. Look at that. You don't know that's him. Uh, what? You, uh, it could be anyone. In the shadows. It might be a cinnabite. It might be a priest. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only other description that is accurate. Don't lose your head. Does she know the story? Like, is she saying that because, or she's just saying that, like, hey, don't lose your head. Don't go crazy. <laughs> Late. Hello, pretty. Oh. <laughs> He's just gonna break that door down. He broke a castle, castle. wall, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why is her house all red? I'm gonna use her to get McLeod to fight or something. McLeod was ready to fight. I don't think he need to do this. <laughs> oh oh my shit! God. He hit a guy, right? He did. Two Cu couple guys. guys. Yeah. I see dreams. I'm gonna hear him. <laughs> oh no, is that a bridge? Like an overpass? <laughs> Who do you think taught him how to drive? <laughs> oh no. I don't think anybody taught him. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend is a real screamer. Listen, which part should I cut off first? I'll be waiting. Rachel, there are some instructions in the desk drawer. 
I want you to follow them. There's a power of attorney for you. You'll have everything you need. You're not coming back. Russell Nash dies tonight. Is Tyler a boy bear? Tommy! <laughs> He's right over there! He's waiting! Knock it all down and she's gonna fall. Hey. Hey. Yeah, the shots definitely look better on VHS. <laughs> oh no. I think he's gonna die. Damn, this is crazy. This is all real. Mm hmm. Underwater, right? Yeah. Oh, geez. Oh, what a stunt. I wish she was tied. Not anymore. Where's the roaming helicopter when you need him? Yeah, <laughs> where are they now? <laughs> hey, you. Stop it. Hey, get out of here. Oh, they left. <laughs> you told him to get out of here. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Huh. This is like Neo and Anderson in Matrix 3. Did she fall in too? Where's she at? She came downstairs. Just noise. Yeah. <laughs> so now it ends. He didn't say it. <laughs> what kept you? Jump <laughs> 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 Brenda, everything's gonna blow up. <laughs> there can be only one. Told you, Brenda, run. Who made these rules? Why does the sun rise? The gift. You see the wire in like almost all the shots. It's very apparent right there at his shoulder at yeah. one point. Is this funny? So, this is where it all began. Can you tell me about the prize? It's like a whirlwind in my head. But if I concentrate, I know what people are thinking all over the world. I'm just like you. I can love and have children. 
live and grow old. You never prepared me for that, you Spanish peacock. Mm. <laughs> Patience, Highlander. You have done well, but it will take time. You are generations being born and dying. You have power beyond imagination. Use it well, my friend. Don't lose your head. for the next movie or the TV show? There's not. Oh. Unless it shows the other ending after this. There's another, There's another ending? ending? There is another ending. Is oh. that the ending you saw? Yeah, it's the ending I've seen. Okay. Yeah. What would the police think? Hugh Corshi? Who was Sunda? Holy crap, Castigar. Was Captain Panaka. Yeah. That was Panaka? That was Panaka. I was wondering Shit, man. if you guys would recognize him. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't recognize him at all. No. Only his name. No. Yeah, his voice is so distinct. Because his name is Korsh Panaka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the only reason I know that. God, no. Stop. Please. Highlander 2. No. Up next. I'm surprised they don't make you pay for it. Ugh. But it has Sean Connery on the cover. It, he's in it. But, but he... Oh, let's not talk about Highlander 2. Let's talk about Highlander. Yeah. What'd you think? It's a crazy movie. It's really crazy. <laughs> it's weird. It's hard. It is... So, like, from the TV show, like, I remember, like, all right, you cut off a guy's head, lightning shoots out, and there's, I don't know. <laughs> like, that's, that's what I remember as a kid. Like, you cut yeah. off their head, and lightning comes out or something. Accurate. That's about it. But if you are the one, uh, you aren't immortal anymore. You are, you can grow old, you can't have children, and you can know everything. Uh, including everything people are thinking. I, yes. I believe it's, said, it's, yeah. it's a choice. Because... Okay. He, uh, Sean Connery's character was saying R- Ramirez was saying like if the curtain <coughs> wins then humanity will be like cast into darkness or something. cast into darkness forever because he will choose to, to rule them sure. and, and he'll know everything yeah. yeah so you get to choose what it is it's either it, it's not super clear no and like, that's why I was like who makes these rules like, <laughs> yeah. what are these, like, yeah. like it, with Star Wars I'm like okay the force is a thing I don't know where it comes from but the reason there's these rules is because there's like this order, this religion that believes this. Yeah. You know, I'm like, okay, I kind of get that. But I do here, like the mystery I mean, of it all because it, yeah. it, it does offer a lot of other stories to be told mm-hmm. in this universe. Unfortunately, most like of two. them are terrible. I, I kind of most of them are terrible. I kind of like that. I don't know who made the rules and stuff. Yeah, I think it's sure. But like, whenever Ramirez shows up and is telling him all this stuff, like, yeah. where did he get that from? Yeah, he probably like, had a mentor that found him. Right? Did he? Because they're like know. attracted to each other. Like, why are people born as these Highlander people? And, like, you see oh, those spirits And what the makes end. the gathering and the quickening and all that stuff happen in 86? Yeah. <laughs> in 1986. Yeah, it, it, versus, it, like, it, he's been around for how in, long? In New know? York, New York. Yeah, which... why, why is everyone in New York? <laughs> well, uh, they said during during the gathering they will be drawn to a faraway place. Yeah, right? yeah and that's where it will end. Yeah. Like, at some point uh, during so their like, lives, it's like they an will feel... that they, like, meet. So yeah, it's like a migration pattern yeah, for all of them. Only three of them. There was only three left at this mm-hmm. point. Yeah. Or I guess four if you count yeah. uh, Fasil. But I imagine Fasil. more are born as time goes on? Or maybe what, but once there's two. one, Is it maybe done there now? Is there no more of that anymore? Well, or does it happen two. again? <laughs> well, yeah, but he's a But two. it's all guys from one. <laughs> <laughs> I would assume that it's done at yeah. this point. Uh, like, there's, there's like, you know, all these fabled warriors are born mm-hmm. and like this is the end of that tradition mm. Ooh. have you seen all the other movies I've like, seen them all do they attempt to kind of go into more of the lore and stuff uh, or? you there has never been a drop off as large from Highlander 1 to Highlander 2 that is so disappointing like because yeah when I watch this I'm like this is cool and I go there's a lot of potential here yeah if they could like Really nail the sword fights. It'd be really, really, really good. Yeah, 
So there's like six movies, there's two TV shows, there's an animated series, there's an anime movie. But, but it like, all just gets worse from here? Well, <laughs> it... <sighs> Highlander 2 is the worst just because it ruins all that potential. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and spoil it. Okay. But in Highlander 2, they are aliens. Oh. I <laughs> am somehow huh. more flabbergasted when Sean Connery jumped over them having sex hey! and entered into the movie suddenly. <laughs> where, yeah, right? He came out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm more flabbergasted. They're aliens? Huh. And that's dumb. I'm glad it doesn't exist. It's the worst Interesting. thing I maybe have ever seen. Oh, yeah. I want to watch yeah, it just to see what they do. I, well, do, I do wish that... Idea. But the bad thing is you can't even see that version now. So that's called the Renegade version, which is the version where they try to fix it. They try to take all the alien, alien stuff, out. stuff Oh, man. I can't even watch alien version? I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't find it anymore. Rick <laughs> is single-handedly... He's, he's, he's saving, saving the franchise. He's yeah. saving film <laughs> history. <laughs> like he's gathering the antiques. So, so they tried a holiday special that. Like, uh, we gotta fix this, yes. get rid of that, yeah. no more aliens. Yeah, yeah because it, it ruins everything. Ret- it, retcon after release. Yeah. Sure, because like, it's like he was born, so, but he wasn't born then. Well, I guess he was, but he was brought here from another planet then. Yes. So all of them were brought here I'm from another I'm gonna discount planet. that. Yeah, none of it makes sense. It's, it's, weird. it's one weird. of the worst things I've ever seen. That's a weird alternate universe. Let's yeah. just not talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is one of those things of, uh, I, I wish for a movie that is based on the idea of these guys have to fight with swords and cut off each other's heads, I, I do wish the sword fighting was yeah, it's more, you know? Yeah, yeah. It, it is the greatest okay. failing of the movie, but it is 86, and like... Sure, but there's also some really sword good fight sword fights just... before that, though, right? I'd rather have, like, slower, intentional sword fights like this than, like... Really fast ones cut all to hell, and you can't see the action. At least yeah. I could see what's going on, so I could tell that the sword fighting wasn't great. As opposed to now, <laughs> when it's not great, they're trying to like <laughs> you'll see it though. Yeah, yeah, and you like trust your actors. Yes, yeah. they trusted their actors. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, they did. Because at first I was like, why are they showing Clancy Brown stunt guy like prominently? Oh, okay. There's a lot of water and a lot of stuff falling over the place. You cannot tell that <laughs> that he is wearing a very ill-fitting skull cap, skull cap yeah. in the VHS tape. Gotcha. Well, yeah. I mean, that's the great thing about VHS. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think the story is so cool. Yeah. And the world is so cool. And the cinematography and the editing is yeah, like is it's way better tier. than it should be. <laughs> I do like the transitions a lot. Like, there's some really good. Tra- I love the uh, the fish tank to the lake or whatever. Like, yeah. that one was really That one cool. still flabbergasted me like how they did that. Yeah, that one. No, that um, one was fantastic. We didn't get to see enough of the wrestling in the beginning, but... Like, it makes the movie feel so big. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, we have a little bit of uh, globe trotting in this, but there's potential for so much more. Yeah. yeah. I, w- I will say, like, I knew that he was, like, long-lived. Like, that, just the show idea. Yeah. Like, well, they live a long time and they fight each other. But, like, I feel like if you're coming into this not knowing anything... It probably is kind of jarring of like yeah. I'm wait I'm in Scottish six fifteen thirties and now I'm back in New York present day and I'm like like until you kind of get there it's like what the hell's going on? Yeah, I like this movie a lot more the second time I saw it because I was very confused the first time. Yeah, where mm-hmm. it, it it just it's a lot. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot going on. I feel on. like I followed along with like the time jump stuff pretty well from the beginning, but. And it doesn't have Obi Wan Kenobi explaining it all to you. No, sure. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Ramirez I mean, gives you bits and pieces. Yeah. It has sure. bits, but, but he also just shows up out of nowhere too. <laughs> yeah, but there was, yeah. there's also not like Episode five and six where you get to still talk to Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> you just have the voice coming from heaven or whatever is like. Yeah. Well, he, he don't touches your hands at the end. Like I think part of the power <clears throat> is like you know all of humanity's knowledge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. I mean, it must be related to that whole thing of, like, feel the stag, which I thought was another weird scene where I'm like, what the hell is he talking about? Yeah, and so uh, it, it, breathing underwater. It, it's it's sort strange. of like the force, I think, where you're connected to all life forms, mm-hmm. in a way. There's another thing, too. Like, there's an element of their, like, injury stuff that I thought was a little weird, where, like, I'm assuming they get scarred but just heal and live, or... Like, whenever he drowned, he didn't drown. Then he was like, I can breathe underwater. I'm so like, I think I Kurgan gets breathe. his scar because it's from Mira's and because it's his neck. So, like, their neck is the only vulnerable place kind so of like, thing? Otherwise, I think it would have healed and there would be no scar. Like, if didn't, I... Didn't he have more scars on his head and stuff, too, though? 
He had tattoos. Is that he all had, it was? Tattoos? He had tattoos. He had so tattoos. like the gunshot seal and the stab heels. We didn't get to see a lot of Like if I cut sure. you in half at the waist, would you just like back on? Or sure. You, you know? And then the other thing I was curious on was like when he was fighting Sean Connery, I was like his his swing was like and a castle wall was falling apart. Yeah. And then he like swung like this mm. and laying on his chest and then it was just kind of like yeah. and it was just like that felt like well, a lot at, less. So I'm yeah, like, these are you. all in like overall strength. At first, I was kind of thinking or... like maybe it's like an unbreakable thing where, yeah, they're not super strong, but their bodies can't be broken. So maybe it's like a movable object, sure, uh, unrelenting force kind of thing. But, but then but, McCloud in the very first fight is just stabbed yeah, straight yeah. through, and I was like, yeah. I don't know how it works. So I, like, yeah. There's just elements of that where I'm like, I don't know how their damage works and why he can breathe underwater versus like, can he drown? But then when he comes out, he's just fine. He can't die because he was dying. Yeah, in that first fight. Yeah, as opposed to like when that one when that guy got shot later on. But maybe it's because he cut off a lot of heads and so, gained power or something. I think know? maybe it's activated the first time you die. Mm. Kind of. It's like he was susceptible, but because he didn't die, he was like on death's bed. And now yeah. he's immortal. Yeah. So like he he wouldn't have experienced the quickening or anything like that until he had that near death moment and then <coughs> after that I think is when it activates I think but Clancy Brown had already been experiencing that and was already like mm -hmm. powered yeah. he already knew about Connor but that's just a guess yeah yeah like why was nobody attacking him in the first battle well that was cause K Krugan whatever Kurgan. Uh, Kurgan was like, like just me Connor is mine yeah so they were just like, oh, like no one wants to fight me he knew Connor was an immortal for some reason yeah I guess. same I reason know. why Ramirez knew Okay. And yeah. he just but see, hadn't learned And they said himself. that they were well, attracted to each other, so I, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Well, why does Ramirez find him, but, like, it takes so long for crew I would to imagine find him. Ramirez is just more experienced. So I think he... Ramirez is either more experienced or he's just more in tune with that side of the power. With the deer. Mm -hmm. Where, like, the stag. Kurgan is yeah, all about Kurgan. just fighting and power and stuff like that. Yeah, but... Kurgan's out there running deer over. So, like, Kurgan <laughs> is the running. epitome of death, and I think Ramirez yeah. is life. Mm -hmm. I think. But yeah, they really should have all teamed up and killed the crew. Yeah. Like, hey, you know that one guy? How about we all just kill that guy, and then we'll fight it out, and one of us will get the power. Which I think is the plan, but Kurgan just sort of watch and waits till he leaves, maybe. Dude, if I was on that bridge with Castier or whatever, and he was like, boom, boom. He's like, yeah, boom, boom. He's like, let's go back to my place. We'll wait for that other guy to show up, and we'll get him together. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to go in an alleyway next to Sex Corner and, like, just wait him out. Yeah, what was he doing there? I don't know. Why was he there? He needed sex. I guess. But maybe go together. Maybe Castier went to find him. Maybe. You know, maybe Kurgan was there in the sex alley. Yeah, but alley. if that's the case, then I would, I would be pairing up with that other guy, you know? Sure. Yeah. Or like when Fasil showed up and he's like, wait. I was like, wait, why do you say wait? But it's he's like the Royal Rumble, like, you know? You do that and, and you're working together, but then your dude betrays you and tosses you over the rope because there can, there be, can only be only one. one. Yeah, but the other idea is that humanity goes in the darkness. Let's, let's, you know what? I don't care which of us win. One of us has to die, and I've lived a thousand years and I'm sick of living anyway. So, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just make sure that guy loses. It's like when Melanie plays Monopoly with me or whatever. It's like, I don't care what happens. But Aaron's got to lose. Ah. That's it. <laughs> what a noble pursuit. It's most of her goals in board games. It's yeah. just I'm, I lose. She'll make yeah. a deal and be like, all right, I'll give you Park Place for $200, and you can't make any deals that help Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> you can only make deals that hurt Aaron. <laughs> I was also curious on Holy Ground when they brought it up, mm -hmm. when I was like, well, is that churches or, like, Whenever just, anybody counts as holy ground. It's just, yeah, or, man, it's just home base. Like when you're playing tag. Sure. Home base. But in the idea of like, like they're like, that guy's Russian. Mm -hmm. And then like, you know, this guy's from Spain or yeah. he's Egyptian or, you know, and then this sure. guy's a Highlander. I'm like, all of them are going to have different ideas probably of what holy ground yeah. would be. Mm -hmm. So does that mean all of those are good? Like could they fight at the Standing Stones? Stonehenge. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Or like if it's like, a, is there a religion where it's like just all of Earth is holy? And I was like, you know what? You can never kill me. <laughs> I just found out about this new religion. <laughs> it's like, you just start a 501 It validates C, all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, that's, that's why, like, there's some elements where, like, I'm curious on how those rules came to be yeah. and, like, what classifies as a holy ground. A lot of the decisions. Because, like, whenever seems... it's, like, uh, you know, uh, vampires and stuff, most yeah. of that's based on, like, Christian types of stuff, mm -hmm. right? Where the cross is. So it probably doesn't count where it's like a Buddhist monk yeah. monastery might not count for that and Dracula yeah. just walks on or something. Like Ramirez predates Christianity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm like, what's holy ground? So I don't know. It would seem like, I guess a lot of the answers is just like, 
it's based on tradition. They themselves probably don't know all of the the rules, but they're trying to figure them out. So like, there's like what they think are the rules and what the actual rules are. You know, yeah, maybe something like that. I mean, Jewish people used to bring like jars of Jerusalem with them. Yeah, right. <laughs> you just stand on that jar. <laughs> Can't get me, Kurgan. <laughs> Kurgan. Oh man, yeah, Kurgan. 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 The yeah. Kurgan. I keep wanting to put his R before the U. I put. Victor, there's a Victor Kruger they talked about earlier. But I don't know yeah, that's that what he signed his name his at the hotel. hotel. Kruger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the motel. Maybe that's what I want Kurgan is like what Krugan. he is, which Kurgan. was Kurgan. What's his a group name? Of people he from name? the steppes of Russia. Just, they call him the Kurgan, or they called him the Black Knight, or something, yeah. right? Dude, his armor in that was really cool, though. Yeah, yeah. It was. I feel like Clancy Brown was just like chewing up all his scenes. Having fun. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? No, he definitely had a lot of fun on that. Don't show. talk to me. <laughs> what was don't, it? Don't speak don't to me. My cut has improved your voice. <laughs> I'm candy. Of course you are. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, no, I love him. I love Sean Connery in this. I, I love Christopher Lambert. He, he like, so Nash right. is one of the coolest characters I think I've ever seen. So he's pretty. I apologize for calling your wife a bloated. Warhog. <laughs> <laughs> well, so why did they bring him in for Highlander being like mostly blind or partly blind or whatnot? Like, I'm surprised he got like a sword fighting role. I know it got a lot worse later in his life. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure how bad it was here necessarily. Maybe not bad at this point. Okay. Because um, I, kn- I, I know for part about of his before. career he was trying to conceal it as well, wasn't he? I think so. Uh, like not because so. it was hurting his his options. Mm, that makes sense too. But like, I think this was the first big American movie because he was a French actor. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Um, so His then, accent in the different points, I was like, it's weird. <laughs> lots he's of different lives, places. He lives so many lives. <laughs> I guess so. That's true, yeah. Yeah, he only had six roles before this. Mm. He started his career in 83, and this was three years later. Mm-hmm. Clancy surprised me. I wasn't expecting him in here. This I knew before Queen was big, too, right? Uh... No, it was during. It was during. Yeah. I knew Lambert and Connery were in it, but yeah. I didn't know Clancy Brown was in it. Yeah, I wanted to keep that from you guys. That was the only one that I thought, shit. <laughs> I <laughs> knew you guys would I be crazy seen that excited about that. Yeah, did, we, they, did they see I mean, Sean Connery in the beginning? It was right after Clancy Brown. Well, and, and, and Sean Connery did the narration. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh. I recognized it. I looked at Calvin movie. and I pointed at my ear. Yeah. I didn't I know if he got it. it. But yeah, huh. he, did oh, yeah. The, he did the opening, like, uh, uh, the text. Not crawl, but yeah. oh yeah, no, I, I get you. It was the Conan page of yeah. setting if, the scene. If you know, it definitely sounds like him for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't. And yeah, I, I'll go back. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's go back <laughs> and listen to it again. Beginning. Noise. I don't know music. why, but it made me, it made me laugh so much. The noise and music was our noise subtitle almost the whole movie. Yeah, <laughs> so often it was just like noise and music. Okay, it's the reverb and the echo that messes with me. Yeah, when you got the centuries, I'm, that's oh yeah, when you hear it. centuries. <laughs> I mean, you know what? That does kind of tell you it's aliens. <laughs> it's not aliens. No one has ever it was known. Not from the dawn of time, you. we came. You know, they came here. We didn't know we were among you. Yeah, man, that's that's a, they, they planned it here. They didn't say they, from another world we came. They, they don't said have to. from the dawn of time we came. Yeah, they don't have to say from another. <laughs> and they didn't come from a dawn time. They were all oh born supposedly. God. But you know what? That's fucking you're right. You should watch that movie. Dude. It's a great bet. It. <sighs> Which is the one with it's the horse? Fun. The one with the horse? Is that five? Oh, a lot of movies to get to. I know what you're talking about. Um, that's four? Four? I think that's four. Okay. Because five is the source, right? With um, I saw yeah. one that said the source. Oh, it's not. Is that the... Do we go it's to their planet? Worse. We go to their planet, don't we? <laughs> no. Oh, hell yeah. It doesn't <laughs> drop off as hard as two, but that's just because two went so low. Mm. I like the, uh, the Rachel story. Like the yeah. the little girl from World War Two that he like I yeah. guess saved and just kept <laughs> just adopted her. kept yeah. her safe yeah but him he's been like uh, what, damn what was his line <laughs> like, I can't remember what it was but some of the Nazis and that, <laughs> oh. da, 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 like that whole thing you are the master race and then he just shot him <laughs> a bunch yeah. of... it's just he had his la- he did his laugh so many times in this he did yeah, yeah. It's so good if you had that laugh you gotta do it it's a great laugh. <laughs> I love when we watch older movies, and sometimes like you don't think about it. I guess when you're young, I didn't. But sometimes now when I'm an adult, I'm like, wait, why are we transitioning to sex now? Yeah, like she stabbed him, and they're like, oh, just go for it. And then they went and saw lions. Yep. Yeah. It all feels very weird. Their relationship. 
I don't know. For me, like, I didn't get, like, sure, she's following. She's trying to figure out the sword thing, I suppose, or following him because she's wondering why she, he's following, he following her, her or whatever. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. okay. But then, like, after all that stuff happened, like, she kept giving him a lot of opportunities of, like, I don't know. I wouldn't be inviting him in. When I knew he was lying about being Nash, I probably wouldn't be going up to his, his apartment, you know? Like, I don't know. She must really have trusted that guy. Uh, he's handsome. He is so handsome. That's, that's the thing. If he didn't look like that, <laughs> it would not be the same. That's if true. he looked like the fucking... Aaron, that's true of everything like the Kurgan? in our lives. <laughs> the Kurgan, maybe, yeah, or just fucking... I don't know that the one of the Scottish guys who was laughing had like no teeth and shit, you know, like that was the transition. <laughs> yeah, that transition they had. Like if he if he did not look like that, yeah, yeah, he's so handsome. As she wouldn't have so even sexy. followed him out of the bar. But yeah, then like it got to that point where it's like I stabbed you. You're okay. Let's bang. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they also have a quota to keep people interested. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Like at the two thirds point, you have to have at least one sex scene to keep people like. Well, you should have showed. You should have showed, uh, yeah. showed me her, uh, him, and uh, Heather. Put that one in there earlier on, where there was more of that part, because at least that one I understood why him and her were together. Like there was like a romantic interest, and they were like just living together, and mm -hmm. it was before he was really like immortal because he didn't know he was just cast out and had no one else, and found her, and they were together. You know. Out of context. But their, like, sex scene was still fully clothed in the day. Mm -hmm. Sean Connery interrupted. <laughs> yes, he did. Did. Out I, of context what? Out of context, <coughs> you two had uh, an interaction in there that was, uh... Does he have a butt double? That was her! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't talking about her butt! I know, I just, it cracked me up. Because that's what I heard. I was like, what? <laughs> okay, well, we've now seen Highlander. <sighs> See, it, it's... Name that not because it's like I always thought it was the name of the person who like killed the guy that was the one. Yeah, was I thought Highlander. it was a bunch of like not that he was just a guy from the Highlands. Yeah, yeah. no, was yeah. Like, like I don't even know. Like yeah. if it were son, uh, if it were Juan Sanchez, uh, Villa Lobo, whatever, it would be the the Egyptian. Yeah, yeah I guess you're right. No, I I honestly <laughs> thought like because I had only I knew two things. I knew the title and I know there can be only one. I kept thinking like man. Why are they obsessed with, like, killing all the Scottish people? <laughs> <laughs> all the Scottish people? No, there could be one! <laughs> but yeah. I am from the highest of lands. <laughs> yeah, like, like, I imagine, you know, the, the fates of the spirits, whatever, choose one person from each region Maybe. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, it felt like there was, they were all from different places and stuff. And so but, he's the Highlander. But, like, that, I feel like, complicates a franchise idea, too. Because now, oh, yeah, now you definitely. always have to have a Scottish guy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the, the guy in the movie, or else why, why is there well, the Highlander? Well, yeah, you know? well, yeah, there's not like, well, let's have the Japanese Highlander this time. It's like, no, that doesn't it work. It doesn't work. <laughs> I need the Japanese Immortal. Yeah. We'll call it the Immortals or something. I don't know. The, but, yeah, like, you watch this, and you don't think sequel. Mm -hmm. You think, like, well, there could be prequels and stuff like that. But Sure, yeah. It feels like this is the end and there can be no more. Yes. Because yeah. there can be only one. Yeah. yeah. But there are so many more and they are so terrible. Aliens. I also thought it was weird that you took the guy who was Scottish and made him Egyptian. <laughs> I'm like, why is he from Spain? <laughs> and then he Actually, said he was Egyptian. I'm Egyptian. And I'm like, what? Well, I mean, he wasn't designed to be <clears throat> accepted immediately. You know, like, he... he Comes over on the horse. His outfit, the peacocks, everything is just designed to just like make your face hit a wall. And you're like, what is going on? It's like so if, it worked. If culture shock yeah. were personified in a man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then the Highlander is telling Sean Connery, wait, you're Spanish? No, I'm Egyptian. <laughs> Keep up. <laughs> and he, his actor is French. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what are we doing? It's sad it wasn't bigger than it was. Like I, it was Big enough that it spawned a whole bunch of other That they stuff. attempted more. And, but, like, yeah, it just... I don't know. I thought I was flabbergasted during Total Recall. But I think this one flabbergasted me more. Like, Total Recall, obviously. The effects in Total Recall were better. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, sure. Yes. But it but was yeah. also in the 90s. It also had a massive budget. Well, for it was also coherent. Have, like, no budget? Um, it was also what? Coherent. Like, this one's... Uh, it is coherent, Yes. Yeah. But it also isn't, and I love that a little bit more than it being fully coherent. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, I like the flaws. Like, if I had seen this as a kid, I would have been obsessed. With oh, it. yeah, dude. Hmm. I would have sure. had those swords. I would have been... Oh, man. Like, even now, I'm a little obsessed. Yeah. But it, it, if I had grown up yeah. with this, yeah. Hmm. 
It was nominated for two awards in 87. Uh, Best International Actor, Christopher Lambert, and Best International Film. Uh, See what the budget was. Um, Did the other ones have better sword fights? Yeah, so the guy who sort of leads the franchise after three, Mm -hmm. um, who is in the TV show, he was a stuntman first. Okay. Uh, and yeah, because the guy in the TV show was not Lambert. He was no. like, I think he had like long dark hair or something. I'm trying yeah. to picture him. It's been a long time since I've seen it. What was that, 90s that it came out? 90s, yeah. I'm trying to remember the actor's name. But yeah, he is a much better sword fighter. <coughs> uh, he's not as good of an actor. I feel like the TV exactly. show had better sword fights. It probably did. I've never seen the TV show. But uh, the movies that he's in, the sword fights are much better. I loved, like... The cinematography and the art mm. direction of the first fight mm. in the parking garage yeah. versus uh, whatever that guy's name, Valsek, uh, Iman Vassal. Uh, Fasil. Va- Va- yeah. Him. Yeah. I loved everything except the sword fight. Except the so. sword yeah. fighting. Yeah. 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 The thing in the first fight that was so weird was that the backflips. <laughs> Well, yeah. They like, just kept going. Well, it yeah. was just Everything weird was good because... But the moves. Yeah, yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. yes. The, the ambiance and the lighting yeah. and all that stuff was really good. But yeah, there was the moment he, like, knocked his sword away. He pushed him away. He went to go back and get his sword. Mm-hmm. And this guy ran away yep. and then started backflipping. Yep. And then we saw him run again. Yep. And then we saw him backflipping more. Yeah. And meanwhile, this guy was just trying to get his sword. <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, what is he doing? <laughs> he could just run. He could go get him. Dude, watch his... Watch Knocker and Time Speed run. It makes sense. Yeah, the budget was nineteen million, and it grossed twelve point eight million worldwide. Which is terrible. terrible. So it didn't even such a shame. The budget. It, it didn't make its money back. Damn, good. but it's so good. It got a lot of people interested in the. Yep. Yeah. And the Queen world. feels like I mean, a, a, an actor in the movie. Yeah, oh, sure. It's so good. Absolutely flabbergasted that it started with Queen. Yeah, it had a lot of Queen too. Mm-hmm. I think it was. Fun. I don't know if I would have fallen in love with it as a kid. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I think there's, looking at it now, like I said, the flaws and stuff that I see, I don't know. I don't know if I would have been like, yes, the flaws, if I'd have been like, no, the flaws. As a kid, I probably wouldn't have cared. As a kid, I would have loved it. As like a 21 year old, I would have been but, like, eh. Like, what now, sword fighting movie can be had as a kid? Even watching the, the show and stuff as a kid with my dad and stuff a uh-huh. little bit, like, it didn't, like, hook me or anything then either, so... I don't sure. think it was, like, the... So you had some preconceived stuff. I don't think there. it was the category of what I was looking for as a kid or anything. Because, oh. like, growing up, I feel like I didn't have a ton of great fantasy options. Mm-hmm. Like, there was no Lord of the Rings movies no. or anything like that. Yeah. So, like, I think I would have hooked on to this. Because, mm-hmm. yeah. like, I love Dragonheart. Sword fighting, that's not great. And like Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, mm-hmm. like that last sword fight is is fun. When did Princess Bride come out? Uh, I hadn't seen Princess Bride. That but, wasn't the question. Princess uh, Bride uh, would have been 80, 90? I would have say eighty eight. I know Fred it's, Savage was a kid. It's in this area, so I'm trying to pinpoint. Yeah. But like their sword fights, real good. The sword fights, know? real good. But we're trying to think of like Rob what Anderson. what movies were kind of around this time that had really good sword fighting. Eighty seven. This was eighty six. So it was just the year after then. <laughs> it was the year after this. Well, I mean, you know. Air, like Errol Flynn's movies, uh, him and Bessie Rathbone, like that had a great sword fight. Like, they're, it's not that they didn't exist. Yeah. It's just, I feel like we're spoiled. It's that Bob Anderson existed. Yeah. He, he was Errol Flynn's stunt double. He was. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I mean, to, to Rick's point, like, not when it's directed by people that starred in stunts. Like John sure. Wick fighting, like it's shot so amazing because the guy is a stunt actor, you know? Sure, yeah. And you can watch, like, stunt reels from current working. Uh, stunt performers that you know they have a buddy who just has a camera and they can make amazing stuff. That stuff never appears in big Hollywood movies because there's all these other decisions being done, you know. Sure. And there's but all just, these other priorities. Yeah, I but think. just go watch like stunt reels that are on YouTube now from like people like 2024, 2023, like stunt reels. It's some of the best stuff you ever see, and it never makes it in movies. <laughs> yeah. We need to watch. Uh, there's a My Hero Academia fan film that these stunt guys put together, and it's awesome. We should watch that one day. Pretty sure I've seen it. Have you seen it? I it's really it. cool. Have you seen all of them? I don't know. There's, there's three of them. The first one's know. the worst. I don't remember. Two and three are like, oh, crap, this could be like awesome. I think I've seen <laughs> two of them, maybe. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, we could watch more of the Highlander movies, but it'll be a much different experience. Uh, one that I also enjoy greatly. Yes. Aliens. We'll have drinks. It'll be fun. <laughs> That's the last thing I thought you were going to say, aliens. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, That's the was... last thing anyone would say, except uh, the writer, apparently. All right. Was it the same guy who did this movie? 
It was the same director. I'm telling you, man, it's planned from this writing right here. But the script writer it came. It, it, they didn't know we were there. <laughs> yeah. Calvin, do you know the story behind okay. the script of this? I kind of barely remember it. Like Clancy Brown. Is it the one that was there. like like half of it got destroyed and they had to do it from memory or something like that? What? It was it's some Sounds crazy awesome. some crazy thing like that. that sounds awesome. That sounds Eric. awesome. Limitation breeds creativity. That's not always good. No, it's not. But sometimes it's awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, so um uh, Gregory Wyden wrote the script as a class assignment for his undergraduate. The script for Highlander. For this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, after reading the script, Wyden's instructor advised him to send it to an agent. He sold the script for $200,000. It oh, became he... the first draft of what would become the film. You know what? He probably did good for that. I mean, the movie didn't make money, so. Yeah. At least someone did. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the initial story was darker and more violent. Probably just worse things happening to everyone in general. <laughs> yeah. The director was flipping through a magazine and saw a photo of Christopher Lambert from a recent role as the title hero of Grace Stoke, the legend of Tarzan, Lord of the Apes. Mm. He couldn't speak English, but he had the perfect look. He learned English very fast. This is his first like English-speaking role, then? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, they originally considered Kurt Russell and Mickey Rourke for the role of Connor Mickey McLeod. Rourke. <laughs> Kurt Russell would have been a very different feel, I think. It would. Yeah. yeah. This would have been... Yeah... This would have been like what? It might have made money though. Yeah. It might have. But Russell would have been a pull. It would have. It would have not been so many international actors for the American audience. Was this? I mean, you have Bond, right? You have yeah, that, Sean Connery should have been a pull. Sean Connery, right? sure. But he was only in, you know. Yeah, he's not the star. Fifteen minutes of the film, you know. And like, if you show his character on a poster, people are gonna be like, "What is this?" Yeah. They're, <laughs> Yeah, let them wait until he appears in the movie, and then they'll be like, "What is oh, this? I see." Also, this was fresh after Zardoz, so I was gonna say I was this was right after. No, I, it, it it might have been I'm at a sure point when, when he was walking out. on the beach wearing that same outfit. I'm like, "Guy, yeah, should have worn the Zardoz outfit." That was in the '80s. I can't remember exactly. Before. Maybe it was after this that he decided to do Zardoz. Uh, <laughs> like, Zardoz. One more try, maybe. Have you seen? I have no idea where you guys are. I'm going to show about. Eric a picture of oh Sean Connery. We've, we've shown you Zardoz, right? I don't think so. I'm, I'm sure we did. I'm going to show you a picture. No, Zardoz was way earlier. Not you. I was wondering how many. Uh, 74, you're right. Yeah. It was way earlier. It was way earlier. That is Sean Connery and Zardoz. That's what he wears the whole movie. Pretty sure I showed you this once or something, right? His gun. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, we talked about this on Community. Yeah, okay, we did. Cause, cause, uh, cause, uh, Starburns. Starburns was yeah. like, refer- like. Refer- Starburns was wearing this as a. Costume. Is this a movie I'm, I should watch? Uh, it's probably. I've never seen it. Some Terrible point. movie. Did Borat get inspiration from this? Like this is cocaine, the movie. All right, it's the prequel to Highlander, Rick. There are aliens. It's where the aliens came from. One. Now I know. Two. Now I know three, everything. Four. I am everything. Five. This is Clancy's fifth movie. Gotcha. Clancy's fifth. Yeah. yeah. That's what okay. I was saying before. Oh, you're talking about Lambert? No. Oh, okay. I uh, still have questions. <laughs> <laughs> and but, from what I understand of the answers, maybe some of, some of them should stay. We'll just keep the answers. questions. <laughs> no answers. This, yes. Yeah. Ever. This should have been it. But maybe we'll get to the others. Who knows? That'd be fun. You can only know everything if you are the one. If you remade it, who would you have be mm-hmm. Connor? Because um, they've talked about remaking this forever. Does he have to be a Highlander? <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, would say it has, to be it has to be a Highlander, yeah. Uh, you know what? Someone I don't know. who can do a convincing everything else accent. <laughs> <laughs> I want someone who can fight, though. Like one of the kids from Cobra Kai? Yeah, Robbie. Robbie could maybe work. He'd be a good, like, He's a good looking kid. Lambert kind of kid, mm-hmm. right? I think he could probably fight. Like with a sword. Like, I mean, he can fight with yeah. hands. Just He'd be better than. He'd learn. This. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't want to say it? I'll say it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our reaction to Highlander. Uh, there can be only one, but there are more movie reactions coming out all the time, so make sure you subscribe, and you can also head over to blindwave.com where you can vote every other week on a movie reaction. Maybe we'll put some Highlander movies on there. Mm.